cheerleading finals where the Red Tigers take on the Green Knights! Go Tigers! The Red Tigers now have the floor. Your sister's so good. Whatever, I hate her. Oh man, we don't stand a chance. <sighs> We're gonna do everything exactly as we practice. Lauren, if you mess this up again, I'll kill you. Big smiles. These teams are fierce rivals and about to battle it out on the mat. Throw it! Chrissy! She's not waking up! You dropped our star cheerleader! Must have been the new girl. EMT, coming through, out of the way! <laughs> I'm sorry, she's dead. Oh, oh, no! How'd she die? <gasps> Look, something's on her shoe! Someone made her shoes slippery so she'd fall. So this wasn't an accident, this was a murder. And everyone here is a suspect! Whoever killed my girlfriend is gonna pay! Tanya was jealous of her sister! Or maybe Megan was mad that Chrissy was stealing her spot while she's injured. Your captain is the most competitive person I know. She killed her. I don't have to kill your team to beat you! Well, it could've been her! No one is leaving this gym until we figure out who the killer is! Someone sabotage her shoes and I'm gonna find out who that person is! View the security footage so I can solve this murder. Hey, am I free to go? Uh, yeah, of course. Wait, uh, can I borrow this? Okay, but it only has five more uses before it dies, okay? Okay. It looks like I have to get this right, and I only have five guesses to do it. I'm gonna create a series of challenges based off the clues in this security footage to help me find which one of these suspects is the murderer. So this is the security footage from last night. Zephyam, do you see this? That must be the killer, but I can't see who the face is through the mask. The killer was too slow and couldn't get to the door in time. I have the perfect challenge to figure out who the killer is. This is the slime drop challenge. The first to grab their slime moves on to the next round. Mad Dog and Scott, you're up first. On your marks, get set, go! Moving on. Yes! This is for Chrissy. Did Scott wink at Rachel? That's sus. Wasn't he dating Chrissy? Okay, you know what, Zam Go back and watch. Maybe he just had something in his eye. Don't worry, babe. I'll win the next round. Ew, don't touch me if you're gonna have slime on your hands. I thought you were faster than him. Ah! Oops, didn't see your foot there. Next up, Michael and Megan. Guess you're just the worst of the worst. Glad you're not on my team. Next up, Tanya versus our coach. Who do you think's gonna win this one, Zam Fam? Oh. You ran pretty well for someone who's injured. It's just my arm, and it's almost healed. I could have competed today. Well, maybe if you competed instead of Chrissy, she wouldn't have died. What? No, coach wouldn't let me play. I held her back for her own safety. And you know what? As a good coach, I don't compromise my values just to win. Well, what are you trying to say? Enough fighting! On your marks! Get set, go! Oh, so oh, yes! Too slow! <gasps> Coach slays! What happened? Someone must have poisoned the slime! He's dead! Dead bodies are so gross! You, you didn't want to did... touch the slime! You must have known about this! She wouldn't have done that. Yeah, she just thinks the slime is gross. Wow, why are you both so quick to defend her? And how do you know she's innocent? Look, Tanya was the last person to win right before that slime was poisoned. I don't think it's a coincidence. I wouldn't kill my sister. But I know who would. Chrissy hated Lauren and was always talking down to her. Lauren, if you mess this up again, I'll kill you. She's right. You might have wanted revenge. And you were slow in the slime challenge. And I heard the coach say something to you when you lost. Guess you're just the worst of the worst. Glad you're not on my team. No, I wouldn't. Show me your hands. <laughs> if I shine this black light on the killer's hands, it should be shiny just like Chrissy's shoes. Nothing's there. I told you I was innocent. She is not the killer, but someone here still is. Everyone, head that way. I need to get back to the security footage. There must be another clue that can help me. The slime challenge didn't work, so I need to look at the footage to find another clue. Since the killer couldn't sneak through the door, they had to enter through the roof. Uh, 
a handstand, a toe touch, and the splits. Those are some advanced cheerleading moves, so I'm gonna need to come up with a challenge to see which of the suspects can do all three of them. This is the ultimate cheerleader test where we'll find out which of you is the best cheerleader. There are three rounds, starting with a handstand contest. Well, I guess I'm out. It's a good thing I've been hitting the gym. Mad Dog is a base, I don't do my own stunts. The four of you that hold the handstand the longest will move on to the next round. Now everyone, arms up. Three, two, one, handstand. The killer showed some amazing moves in the security footage, so whichever cheerleader wins this challenge could be the murderer. Ow. Coach Gina, you're out. How embarrassing. The Green Knights would never lose to a team coached by a loser like her. You know, you're not gonna stay young forever. But I am gonna win this challenge. Oh. Whoa. Thanks, Scott. Congratulations to the winners of the handstand contest that will be moving on to the next round. Please step forward. That's not fair. Mad Dog pushed Scott over. Yeah, we'll oh, show you. Oh. Oh. You guys, we still have two more rounds to find out the ultimate cheerleader. Next challenge is that way. Let's go. Xanthium, I've eliminated four cheerleaders. I need to eliminate three more, and then I'm going to find out who the killer is. For this next round, each of you will be showing me your best cheerleading move, but you must land on your feet if you want to move on to the next round. I'll go first. Watch and learn. Well, how to do it wrong? At least I can do a handstand. Mad Dog cheated me. You would have failed anyway. Go ahead and show us your best move. Xanthium, Michael is one of the best cheerleaders in the country. I'm so excited to see what he does. Michael, go. Oh, that looked like it hurt. He's clearly not the best cheerleader. I was expecting so much more from him. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, I am sorry, but you are disqualified. Oh my God, babe, that was so embarrassing. It's harder than it looks. Right. As acting captain, I got this. Allison was Chrissy's best friend, but she is wasting no time in taking her spot as captain. That's sus. Is it just me or was that move not that great? But she did land on her feet, which means she gets to move on to the next round. Tanya, you're up! Oh! Tanya was one of the strongest ones in the handstand contest. I cannot believe she did not pass this. I'm sorry, but you fell, which means you are eliminated. Ugh, I can't believe the last girl gets to move on, but I don't. That's not fair. Okay, whoa. Anger management issues? Okay, well next up is Rachel. All she has to do is land on her feet and she moves on to the next round. Remember, Xanthium, we're looking for the one with similar moves to the security footage. That was great, babe. Uh, what, like it's hard? It looks like we have cheerleaders from either team moving on to the last and final round. And that final round is flexibility because everyone knows cheerleaders have to be flexible. I'm gonna win this one for the Tigers. <laughs> Green Knights have this in the bag. Well, we're about to find out so you guys get in those middle splits. All right, whoever is the most flexible will win this. Looks pretty close at left leg splits. This could be harder than I thought. Right leg splits! Okay, you know what? Both of you stand up. Rachel and Allison both passed that round, but I'm still not sure which one it is. I'm gonna have to test them one more time. That was close, so we need a tiebreaker. <laughs> this is the splits machine. Whoever goes the farthest in the splits wins. Green Knights are up first. Yo, Rachel! Got this. Allison's not ready to be captain yet. The Green Knights are gonna destroy us in this. You got this, Rach. Allison doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, I know. I don't need you to tell me that. Put your hands on the pole and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, that has to be good enough for the win. Okay, Rachel has fourteen, and now it's Allison's turn. Come on, Allison, you got this. Allison, Rachel did fourteen spins. If you do one more than that, then you will be the winner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Go, Allison. How are you doing this? Fourteen. Her. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations, Allison! You are the winner, which means you are the best cheerleader! It all
also mean she could be the killer. I can't believe she beat me. Don't worry, she'll get what's coming for her. Allison, you are the winner of the cheerleading challenge. But before I give you this trophy, I'm ready to make my next accusation. Only a top cheerleader could pull off the killer's moves. Allison won the cheerleading challenge. Could she be the killer? Look out! <laughs> Must have been a green night. They won't stop till all of us are dead. Or maybe Allison wasn't the intended target. Maybe somebody wanted you dead because you're too close to solving the murder. The killer was trying to kill me? Or maybe it was Rachel because she was jealous she didn't win. Jealous. That's it. I'm ready to make my next accusation. I think the killer is... You, Tanya. Me? I would never kill Chrissy. She was my sister. But you were jealous of her. In fact, you hated that she was a better cheerleader than you. And then you didn't win the trophy, so you made sure that the winner had what was coming to them. You're wrong. Show me your hands. You're innocent. Everyone, clear the crime scene! Sam fam, this isn't working. I thought Tanya was the killer. I only have three guesses left. I need to get these remaining cheerleaders to spill some tea. Let's kick things into high gear for this next challenge. This is the balloon pop challenge. Each of you will take turns kicking a balloon like this. And it will either reveal a punishment or one of your secrets. Who wants to go first? Let's get this over with. Show us your high kick, Coach Gina. Oh! It looks like it's a secret. Coach Gina knew Chrissy was gonna quit the Tigers to join the Green Knights. <gasps> she was gonna leave the team? But wait, she's a flyer and I'm a flyer. She was gonna replace you, babe. Good thing she's dead. Mad Dog would never base a Chrissy. Relax, Sad Dog. You can't even do a handstand. Would you kill Chrissy for leaving your team? Of course not. I mean, she was gonna help us win the finals. Good luck with that happening now. We've lost our two best cheerleaders. Do you believe her, Zamfam? Megan, show us what you got. Pie in the face. Sorry about that, I have to do what the balloon says. What the heck? Well, the good news is you didn't have to reveal a secret. Uh, can someone get her a towel? Mad Dog's a base, she doesn't high kick. You still have to do the challenge. Give that to me. Mad Dog would hurt someone to win, even her own coach. Did you kill Coach Slays? No. You killed Chrissy because she was better than you, and then you killed Coach Slays because he was holding you back. No one can keep the Mad Dog down, not even Coach Slays. I will win no matter what. All bark, no bite. Oh, 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 get her out to the pound. I hope the killer gets you next. This is exhausting. A few balloons higher than Mad Dog. Oh, I'll take that. Let's see. <gasps> oh! What? What does it say? <laughs> oh! No, 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 it's not. <laughs> you might need to shave your legs with that uniform. I don't know, it kind of pulls it off. I'll go. Looks like the note is right here. It says the last person Rachel kissed was... Me, obviously. Scott. You're cheating on me with him? Yeah, I could pull your girlfriend even in a skirt. I'm gonna kill you. She was a real man for the love of my life. And now she's Her gone. Body. Hey, you guys, break it up. We have bigger things to think about than your guys' relationships, okay? Rachel, how could you do this to me? I don't know. He's kind of hot, and you're kind of... Okay, boring. listen, listen. Talk about it later. Right now, we need to figure out who the murderer is. You're the only one who hasn't gone, so get over there. I just want this challenge to be over. Well, it'll be done once you kick your balloon. Just focus, Michael, and go for the goal. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> The balloon poisoned him! You didn't. I didn't have to. I bet it was Coach Gina slowly killing us off. I wouldn't! She was a distraction anyways, good riddance. You know what? Good riddance is right. I'm ready to make my next accusation. It was you, Mad Dog. Me? Yes, the paper said you were willing to do anything so you could win. And he put his relationship over the team. You were the one that told him to kick a gold balloon. That poisoned him! Now show me your hands! There's nothing there. Doesn't make sense. How is there nothing on your hands? How are you not the killer? I told you it wasn't me. Get out of here. 
Mad Dog is not the killer, which means it's one of you four, and I will find out which one of you it is. Did Scott murder Chrissy so he could be with Rachel? Then did he kill Michael so no one stood in between them? Or could it be Gina killing Chrissy to punish her for wanting to leave the team? But let's not forget Megan injured in a mysterious accident just to have Chrissy take her spot on the team. Would Megan be jealous enough to kill her? And lastly, our Green Knight Rachel. Did she kill Chrissy so she could have Scott to herself? Or did she know Chrissy was gonna replace her? I'll be back. More cheerleaders have died and I only have two guesses left to figure out who the killer is. Let's look at this footage. So after the killer snuck on the roof, they went into the locker room. That was close. The killer matched a bunch of different shapes to hide from the security guard. I have the perfect next challenge. This is the impossible shapes challenge. Try to jump through these shapes, starting with a pom pom like that. So, uh, yeah, don't do it like that. Glad she's not on our team. Coach Gina, you're up first. Gina passed! Oh, my knees aren't what they used to be. You've got this. Ew. What, is this about Michael? I swear I didn't kill him. Or did you? This is much less exciting now that we're not breaking any rules. I can find another girlfriend. Good luck. Did you see Scott's reaction when she asked if he killed him? Also, Rachel likes breaking rules? Interesting. Scott, you're up next. You got this, Scott. Interesting form, but you passed. Uh, you can get up now, Scott. But can I, Rebecca? But can I? Do you see how weird he's acting? What if he was the killer so he could be with Rachel, but now she doesn't want to be with him? Let's go, Rachel! Okay, Rachel, barely, but you passed. I mean, nothing broke. She's really not a good cheerleader, is she? Megan, go ahead and jump through the pom pom. You could do that with a broken arm? Imagine what else she could do. The killer positioned their body perfectly to hide from the security guard, so whoever is the best at this challenge could be the killer. Everyone passed the first round, so we're gonna make things a little more challenging. Let's see who can jump through a megaphone. Oh. Coach Gina, you did not get through that impossible shape, so I am sorry, but you have been eliminated. How is your team supposed to win if your coach can't even do it? Ew. We'll still beat you at national. Stop, stop pouting and jump through this impossible shape. For Rachel. The shape is broken, which means you are eliminated. Broken like my heart? I would kill for you, babe. Uh, yeah, I still wouldn't date you. Bye. Did you hear that? He said he would kill for her. That's sus for both of them. No one has been able to do it yet. Let's see if Rachel can. Ugh, that was so easy. Rachel is the first one that passed. You know what, Sam Fam? She's looking more and more sus. Do you think Rachel could be the killer? Megan, only one person has made it through. Let's see if you can make it through this impossible shape. Zamfam, this next impossible shape is the shape the killer made on the security footage, so whoever can make it through could be the killer. This last shape is extremely impossible, which means you will have to be an expert cheerleader to make it through. Good luck, Rachel. Good thing I'm an expert. Did you trip or something? I think I tripped. Zamfam, do you think she tripped on purpose, or is she just a bad cheerleader? Megan! You are the only one left, which means if you get through this impossible shake, you could be the killer. I, I mean, the winner of this challenge. You're taking off your sling. I thought you were hurt. It's practically healed. Time finally win one. Uh... What? Megan just passed? 
passed, okay, Megan? It looks like you passed, but I have a few questions. Megan, you were able to do this challenge, but you couldn't do the handstand challenge? Fine, I, I can't do a handstand. What? But you're a cheerleader. I know, it's embarrassing. Can't do a handstand? Zamfam, do you believe her? I mean, she was jealous of Chrissy for taking her spot on the team, which could be the perfect motive. How convenient, you recovered just in time to win the challenge. I totally could've won that, babe. Ew, as if. You're not first, you're last. Megan, I am officially accusing you of murder. You know the drill, show me your hands. I hope you guys are ready to see who killed Chrissy. That is... Your hands are clear. You're innocent. That means one of you are the killer. Is it you, the rival who likes breaking rules? Or is it the cheating boyfriend? And finally, could it be the coach that Chrissy rejected? You know what, you guys? Get over there. We have another challenge. Oh no, Zamfam. I guessed wrong, which means I only have one more guess and three suspects. I need to look at the last and final security footage and figure out a challenge. Zamfam, who do you think it is? Right now, I have no idea. There's only a small clip left of security footage, and I really hope it can help me so I can make my final accusation. Look, this is when the killer sabotages Chrissy's shoes. Whoa, the killer has some fast reflexes and I think I know the perfect challenge to test this out. I hope this works. This is the Boba Straw Challenge. Oh my God, I love Boba. We get it after every tournament. Except this time, the only way you get to drink your Boba is if you can stab your straw into the cup while blindfolded. Let's see how good your instincts and reflexes are to win. All right, Scott, it's your turn to take a stab at it. All right, did I get it? Wait, 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 wait. You made a mess! <gasps> Same thing. I think I saw something in that trophy case that might be a clue. Did you see it? Did I get it? Yes, you got it everywhere, in fact. Ugh, I'll go next. Okay, so the way this challenge works is I tap it, and then you put the straw there, but Scott doesn't seem to know the rules. Okay, I'm gonna tap. Try to get it in the boba. Are you listening? I'm literally tapping. Did I get it? Ugh, this game's stupid anyway. I was literally tapping in the opposite direction. Maybe it's not the game that's stupid. Let's see how your reflexes are, Gina. It looks like both Gina and Scott got their straw in the cup. You guys, wait right here. I will be right back. Scott and Gina both did great on the challenge, but who do you think the killer is? Scott was cheating on Chrissy. Maybe he killed her to be with Rachel and then killed Michael so no one else would be between them. He failed on the cheerleading skills test, but that's only because Mad Dog fell into him. But unlike the killer, he is a fast runner. Gina could have killed Chrissy for wanting to quit her team. It also makes sense she would want to kill Coach Slays for stealing her star player. Just like the killer, she was super slow, but she couldn't do a handstand or jump through impossible shapes like the killer did. And lastly, we have Rachel. She failed the boba challenge, but could it be because she was trying to throw us off so we wouldn't think she was the killer? She refused to touch the slime that killed Coach Slays in the first challenge. She came in second for the cheerleading skills test. Do you think she killed Allison because she beat her? All of these clues could mean that any three of them could be the killer, but there is something in that trophy case that I saw, and now I think I'm ready to make my final accusation. Oh! three of you have strong motives as to why you would have killed Chrissy, but only one of you is cold-hearted enough to actually do it. It was Rachel, wasn't it? You can't trust a green knight. Actually, it was you, Gina. What? That's ridiculous. And you almost got away with it, but you made a few crucial mistakes. What? No, no. I would never kill a member of my team. They're like family. But she wasn't a member of your team. She was gonna quit your squad and go to the Green Knights. No. Then you killed Coach Slays for trying to poach your player. I was never even near the slime that killed him. She's right. That's because it wasn't the slime that killed him. When you put your hands on him during the argument, you must have poisoned him. And then there was the cheerleader skills test. What about it? She lost right away. Yes, you did lose. And then I saw something in the trophy case. I saw this photo right here. She was a champion cheerleader. How could a champion cheerleader not be able to do a handstand? You heard me talking about the security footage, so you fell down so you could look innocent. But if she wanted to win so bad, why did she kill Allison? She didn't mean to kill Allison. She thought Rachel was going to win, which is why you were so upset when your player was killed. You wanted to kill my girlfriend? 
Don't talk okay, to chill. Let's not put labels on it. When he was fighting with Michael, you put poison in Michael's balloon. I told you I didn't do it. Admit it, Gina. You are the killer. You're wrong. I'm right. I bet you're a green knight. Okay, can you guys just grab her hand? No, no, no. So I'm sick of this cheerleading stuff. Zam fam, we're about to find out if I am right and if Gina really is the killer. Chrissy made a big mistake. She paid for it. They all did. And now you are. Take her away! No! No! Holy no. Tia! No. No. Ziffin, we did it! We solved the murder! Did you think it was Gina? Max! No! I'm sorry. He's dead. No! No! My husband Matt was just murdered. And these are the suspects. 24 hours ago, Matt gave each suspect an envelope with their decade on it, but one of them said killer. And if I don't solve the murder in five guesses, I will have to do an extreme punishment. Luckily, I have surveillance footage of the murder to help me find the killer, starting with this clip. The killer had a notepad for taking orders. They must be a waiter or a waitress. I have the perfect challenge to catch them. This is the 1950s, where I'll be putting the suspects through the ultimate diner challenge. For round one, each of the suspects will race to grab the food before it touches the floor, and whoever grabs the most food wins. Ew, what year are you supposed to be? 10. Like 1910, 1810? No, 10. On your mark, get set. He's moving on to the next round. Ten is an animal. He's obviously the killer. You might not want to eat that. It's not exactly fresh. Made on me. Next up is the 1920s versus the 1990s. Wait, Sam Fam, did you see that? Did Maddie put something in Javier's pocket? Isn't this just the cat's pajamas? You're in a good mood considering a murder just happened. On your marks. Get set. Go. She pushed me. I cry about it, 90s. I'm sorry, but 20 moves on. And 20's kind of sus. We know the killer is a waiter or a waitress, so whoever wins this challenge could be the killer. Ready, set, go! Stay groovy, cowboy. The 1970s slipped. Do you think someone sabotaged him? Yes, I'm not staying alive in this competition. Staying alive, staying alive. You're right, because 60s is moving on. 40s versus 80s. Look at that hot mama. Oh, a soldier, someone who's been around death before. Interesting. Enough talking and more catching. And go. Why? Kind of dramatic. It's just a burger and fries. 80s is moving on. That was totally rad. I can't believe I actually caught it. She said she was surprised she caught that, but the killer wouldn't be. These are the final two suspects, and whoever wins this will move on with the rest of the winners to the next round. I'm just excited to have food. The Great Depression's been so hard on me. You sound desperate. Desperate enough to kill Matt for his money? No. Ready, set. <laughs> You're not gonna eat it, are you? <laughs> oh! Kick rocks when I beat the pulp out of you. What's mm. going on? What'd you say? Take it, take it. Mm. Mm. Thank you. This is the Lincoln Log Challenge. Each of you will have three minutes to recreate this 1950s Lincoln Log model. Time starts now. Okay, Zam Fam, part of being a good waiter or waitress means you have great presentation, so let's see how they do. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't do this. What? Innocent trees are being killed to make these toys. Refusing to do the challenge, that's a tree killer. Okay, just hang right there. You're not supposed to rub them together. You're supposed to build them. I wish I had an apron to put these logs in. Mine seem to keep going missing. An apron? Like an apron a waitress would wear? Darling, does it look like my dress comes with pocket sword? Honestly, I have a feeling we're all gonna be wicked good at this. Maybe you could share your tips with me later on a moist fettuccine date. Ew. Ooh. I said you are- Oh my gosh, fire! 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 Okay! That is not the challenge! Start over! That came 
caveman is clearly not that smart, but he figured out fire. Do you think he's smart enough to figure out how to kill someone? All right, you guys, you have 30 seconds left. This is so easy, I'm almost done. Let's combine homes and be Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln Luck. No. Okay, you should watch him, he keeps stealing your blocks. Hey, that's mine, you rag of Are you okay? Let me help you. This was my last piece. All of these suspects could be the killer, but I need to figure out which one I want to accuse. And five, four, three, two, and one. Time is up. Let's see your Lincoln Log cabins. I'm sorry, 1960s, but you didn't build, which means you are out. Save the trees. You know you wrote that sign on paper, which is from a tree. In 1980s, you don't have a Lincoln Log cabin, which means you are eliminated too. But that's not fair, he pushed me. Everyone else, I guess you all pass. Me win. No, no, you just move on. How did he even do that? This is Don't Choose the Wrong Milkshake. Each of you must choose a straw that is linked to one of these milkshakes. Two are good, one is bad. Everyone choose your straw. Let's see if these suspects have a waiter's intuition and pick the right shake. <laughs> You should uh, drink this one, I think it's chocolate. We love chocolate. I hate chocolate. Get ready to drink from your straws, but before you do, whoever does not finish their milkshake will be eliminated. Drink up, buttercup. It's banana, it's worse than chocolate. Delicious, it's strawberry. You two got the good milkshake, 10 got the bad flavor, and that flavor was? Me finished drink. Me love chocolate. That wasn't chocolate, that was dirt. Me love dirt. Done. Finished. They don't feel so good. What? Oh no! <gasps> He's dead! Xanfam 10 just died, which means one of these two suspects is definitely the killer. You! You switched places with him! You knew it was poison! Poison wasn't prohibited in the 20s! Killer! Oh, don't even Killer. try to blame it on me! When you yeah, 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 yeah. Both of you are sus! So we're doing another challenge. This is rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you get to pick a key that will hopefully unlock this box. The first person to pick the right key not only wins, but gets what's ever inside this box. Good luck. It's not the right key. Guilty. Try again. Oh, let's see if it's this one. It smells like victory. Nope, sorry, 50s. Play again. An experienced waiter or waitress knows how to lock up a restaurant, so let's see who's good with keys. <gasps> he did it! And I get whatever's inside. Oh, you did just go like that. Come to Papa. Immunity, you can't vote for me. Lucky considering you're the killer. You get immunity, but only this round and it doesn't matter because I'm ready to make my accusation. And it's not you. It was you, 1920s. Me? Yes, because earlier I saw how mad you got when 10 stole your blocks and he conveniently died during the milkshake round. And I also saw you slip a note in 1940s pocket in the first challenge. You're making a mistake. Or am I? Get ready, Sam Bam. I am about to win this on my first try. You're not the killer. I told you. Then what was the note? I saw you put a note. Empty your pocket. Relax. No. What does this little note say? I don't need to read it. I miss you, I miss us heart. He hasn't been answering any of my calls. Okay, okay, you know what? You're not the killer, you can go. Everyone else upstairs, whatever decade you are. I can't believe I was wrong about 20s being the killer, but I still have more security footage to look at and four more guesses. gives me an idea for the next 40s challenge. This is the 1940s musical chairs food challenge. When the music starts, all of you will walk around the table and when the music stops, you have to eat whatever is in front of you. No problem, any food is good food. <laughs> we'll see, music starts now. Eat the food in front of you. 
I'm so glad we left this food in the 40s. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm tasting food from the future. Really not that bad. I'm glad you said that because I forgot to mention that all of this 1940s food is expired. <laughs> oh well. I didn't see you touch your food. Oh, it's not part of my disco diet. Then you are eliminated. Yeah, I don't think I'd eat that either. I will. <gasps> oh! No, no, no! Oh. These are MRE foods, meals ready to eat. Each of you will get to pick which bag to open, but remember, you have to eat it if you want to move on. Who wants to pick? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. <gasps> um, I don't believe in violence, so please move out of my spot. That's funny. All right, now that you all have your bags, open them find out which food you're eating. Beef ravioli. Beef chunks. Ugh, chicken noodle. Ew, shredded beef. Cake. Chicken chunks. Pound cake. <laughs> this is so good. <sighs> Keep your breath to yourself. Mm. <gasps> okay, 1990s, how is yours? Can't do it. You have you have to do it. Me neither. This chicken looks raw. Moldy. If you guys don't eat it, you're eliminated. I'll be coming back to check on you. And yum. Can I see? Yeah. Oh, mine's gone. What? So good. Okay, I guess I'll take that. And you? It's so good. Oh. It's the best thing I've ever had. Okay. And what do you have? It kind of tastes like Ma's uh, meatloaf. So good or bad? Mystery meat for sure. Well, let's check on you three. Have you guys ate your food? Looks worse than we got at the front. 1940s, 2000s, and 90s. You are all eliminated. I'll take their food. He likes that expired food way too much. Just like the killer. These are 1940s canned foods, and I actually found this in my grandma's basement, so I'm pretty sure they're from the 40s. Here, draw a number to decide what you eat. Now go to the number that matches the can. Here. Okay. We'll start over here with can number four. Ooh, what is this, canned beef? Maybe it was at one point. Ugh, that's all you're getting from me. I'd come back for seconds. Okay, no. All right, tough guy, go ahead and eat your canned food. Nothing's gonna taste worse than that. Oh, yours is... <laughs> You're right, it's not so bad. I'm next. Ooh. 1930s were bad. Ooh. Oh. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the best food I've ever had. Okay, number two, you've oh. passed. Number one, take a scoop of that canned food. Oh, wait, wait, no. I don't think that can was a good idea. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> He's dead. It must have been the expired food. At least he doesn't have to eat more of it. And neither do you guys, because I'm ready to make my next accusation. I think he was poisoned by you, 1960s. Me? You conveniently stood by him during the entire challenge, and you ate all of your food just like the killer. So show me your envelope. Fine, but you're wrong. This might be my best game ever. 1960s? That doesn't make sense. You ate all the food. She didn't, though. She kept giving it to 1930s. Now you only have three accusations left. Peace out. The killer keeps striking, and I still don't know who it is. Let's see if this security footage will help me. Zipam, did you see that? In the mirror, there was a birthmark on the killer's left arm. Okay, so all I need to do is figure out a challenge to get them to remove some clothing. I think I've done one of these challenges before. This is the 2000s Dish the Deech Challenge. All of you, pick up a flip phone. This is a razor? How do you shave with this thing? It's a phone and not a razor. If this is a telephone, where's the cord? I'm not doing witchcraft. Okay, I promise you that this is a phone. And you're gonna need it for this challenge because we are playing the Who's Most Likely To Challenge. I'll ask you a question and you'll type into your phone who in the group you think would do that. Whoever gets the most votes will appear up here and have to remove a layer of clothing. I'm not wearing anything under these pants. Dude, you're going commando? Question number one. Who here is most likely to kiss a stranger? The results are in and the person who got the most votes is 1950s. I kiss myself, but I already know me. Remove a layer of clothing. Gladly. 
<laughs> Was that jacket to hide your lack of arm muscle? Question number two. Which suspect is most likely to dye their hair a crazy color? The person with the most votes is... It's a tie! 90s and 2000s, you guys tied, which means you both have to remove a layer of clothing. Two for the price of one. Moving on to the next question. Who is most likely to sneak out of their parents' house at night? Results are in, and 1970s, remove a layer of clothes. This is the only layer I can afford to lose. Moving on. Who here is most likely to be a tattletale? Sam Fam, who do you think they're gonna vote for? And it looks like 1980s. You are the tattletale, remove a layer of clothing. Let's vote 1980s for the rest of this challenge, am I right? That's not how this works. Who here is most likely to cheat? Cheating, like in card games? Like cheating on your boyfriend or girlfriend. Huh. Sam fam, this challenge is working out perfectly. Now I just need to check everyone's left arm so I can see if they have a birthmark. It looks like it's a tie again. 50s and 80s remove a layer of clothing. Oh, I guess it's the dress. Can you help me with the zipper? It's stuck. I'm looking straight ahead. I could lend a hand. I'm good. 1940s is acting sus, so I need to get him to remove a layer of clothing, and I know just the question to do it. Who here is most likely to survive a war? You know I'm a soldier, right? What? Oh. Well, that was fast, and it looks like 1940s, you gotta remove a layer, and it's getting hot here, so just take off that jacket. I guess the hat will go. We'll keep playing. Who's most likely to start a rumor? 2000s, remove a layer. I could've just taken off your hat. I didn't wash my hair today. Same girl, same. Who here is most likely to wear a uniform year round? I'm literally wearing it. Time to vote! And whoa, it's the 1940s! Guess you're removing that jacket! Nope. You have to remove the jacket, that's the game. You have to remove a layer of clothing. They all voted for you. This is not clothing, this is a uniform. I am proud to wear it, not coming off. Okay, fine. You've made it really easy for me. I accuse you. I think that you are the killer, especially now that you won't remove your jacket. So give me your envelope. This game is about to be over. Oh, 1940s is the killer. You're not the killer. Nope. You can go then. You can take me out of the game, but never my honor or my jacket. Okay, everyone, head over there for the next challenge. That person is not only a killer, they are a thief, and I need to catch them red-handed by going back to the 80s. This is the 1980s rad or bad challenge. I will show you guys an item, and if you think it's from the 1980s, you'll hold up rad. But if you think it's from another decade, you'll hold up bad. Item number one, a cassette player. What they don't know is the only reason I'm having them do this challenge is so I can get them in another room when they lose and see if they'll steal my money. And if they do, there's an ink bomb in it, and I can set that off at any point. Reveal your answers. Okay, looks like most of you said rad, except you 2000s. That's definitely not from the 80s. Well, unfortunately, you are wrong. You are eliminated, head upstairs. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I left my cash up there, so just make sure no one touches it, okay? All right, and then there were four. Next item is a Rubik's Cube. Okay, is it rad or bad? So you guys don't think it's from the 80s, but you do? That has the 80s written all over it. Actually, it has the 70s. You are eliminated. Head upstairs. And then there are three. And voila, a slinky. Choose your answers. Well, this is tricky because you're from the 80s and you said rad and you two said bad. If she gets this right, she is officially the winner. But a slinky is from the 40s, not the 80s. What? I totally thought I was born in the 80s. <laughs> well, you didn't study your decade hard enough. Head upstairs. I can't believe you two are the last and final ones. Now we have nerds candies. Are those from the 80s or another decade? You both think it's from the 80s? You guys are right. This is the last and final one. Smurf Berry Crunch Cereal. One of you could be the winner. The berries are good. And you're bad. You are wrong. They are from the 80s. Congratulations, 1970s, you are the winner. Groovy, what do I win? Peace, love, and happiness. Uh, you know what, go ahead upstairs, both of you. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Ta-da!
head upstairs. Okay, Zamfam, I don't actually have to go to the bathroom. I just want to get them all in the room to see who steals the money, and if they do, I'll know who the killer is. Sorry for the delay. Are you guys ready for the next challenge? Let's do it. Absolutely. Wait, someone took my money. Where's my, my money I had in here? Who took it? I didn't even think no money. Yeah, you One of you guys took my money. Okay, fine. If you guys don't want to tell me who stole my money, I'll find out this way. Oh! She peed her pants! She didn't pee her pants. I put an anti theft bomb on the money and I activate it with this. So that means you. <gasps> you are the one who stole my money. I didn't steal the money. I've never stolen anything in my life. Oh, really, 2000s? Yet it was in your pocket. I have two accusations left, but I don't need to because right now I am accusing the right person, and that is you. You had the envelope with killer in it. Show me your envelope. Okay, Zam fam, we did it. In less than five guesses, we found out. <laughs> It wasn't you? I don't know how the money got there. Okay, everyone head out. 2000s, you can go home. Oh man, Zamfam, the killer must be one step ahead of me. He must have framed the 2000s. And I only have one chest left. Otherwise, I have to do an extreme punishment. I need to make this next challenge really count. Comment below who you think it is. Zamfam, I only have one guest left, which means I really need to make it count. Okay, Zamfam, the killer obviously has great precision, and I know the perfect challenge for that. We're getting fresh in the 90s. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Well, we're in the 90s, and we're gonna play the 90s game operation. You gotta get the body part out, and if it buzzes, you're eliminated. Why don't you go up first, 80s? Done. It's usually a lot harder than that, for the record. All right, 70s. Okay, yeah, no, definitely not close. You're eliminated. All right, tough guy. I think it's time for my operation, nurse. Ew. Okay, put the piece there. 90s, you're up. All right, it's my decade, I got this. Not bad, 90s, dare I say, you're fresh. Now we're on to round two. We play until there's a winner. Ladies are dominating this challenge. Oh, remove my hot necks, it's already yours. Ugh, you're so annoying. And you're not gonna hit me at all. Go. Still time to help out the doctor. Oh my god. 90s, you are up. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. She dead? Someone killed her. That doesn't make sense. That wasn't part of the game. She's 1990, which means one of you is the killer. He got out first. He's obviously the killer. Well, obviously it wasn't me. What about this guy? He keeps making weird comments. And she won't take me on a date. There's obviously something wrong okay, with that. Okay, okay, listen. I have one more guess, but I'm not quite ready to make it. So go over there. Sam fam, I have only one guess left. I'm really hoping that this last piece of surveillance footage will help me because if I don't make the right decision, that's not an option. I can do this. <gasps> so that's how Matt was killed. And did you see all of those toys? The killer obviously has great body control and balance. <sighs> Things are about to get groovy. Welcome to the 70s. We're gonna be doing three 70s activities and I'm gonna decide your best move. Starting with the classic hula hoop. Begin. Okay, not bad. Aren't you from the 70s? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've seen enough. Now I'm gonna give you each a 70s dance move and if you get it wrong, you are out. Let's see the elbow pull. Okay, the next 70s dance move is the double arm swing. Easy. <laughs> you like that? No wonder you don't get a date. It's actually like this. Head over there, because you are out. What I did. Time to get my groove on. All right, let's see your lawnmower. Oh yeah, okay, you pass, we'll take it. Next, 
Let's see your classic 1970s snack. Oh yeah, you're moving on, keep going. All right, 70s, let's see your disco finger. Yeah, you know it's this one. This is it. Oh, that's the disco finger. You are out. Okay, 80s, if you get this right, you are the official winner of this round. It is called the bump. Oh, easy. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, boys, looks like the lady is the winner. A girl with moves, killer moves. Not so fast, I'm not ready to make my accusation. I have one last game. You're all gonna get a little messy. This is Twister with paint. Whatever it lands on, you have to do, but if you fall, it's gonna be messy. That's why they call me flexible 50s. I could stretch across this whole board. Everyone, get ready. It is right foot yellow. Bah. Left hand green. <laughs> Left foot red. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable. Right foot blue. <laughs> oh, you guys lost, but it was the perfect time because I am ready to make my final accusation. 1950s, you won the first challenge and then you tricked 10 into drinking the poisoned milkshake. And you are by far the most flexible. You've been acting day and I now know that you are the killer. Show me your envelope. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. How? Wait, is this a joke? It doesn't make sense. He has to be the killer. He's not? You've run out of accusations, Rebecca. You lose. If he wasn't the killer, then who did it? I'm the killer. But how? I only lost in the Lincoln Log Challenge because my model got knocked over. And then I put poison on 1950s hands to poison his milkshake. But then he gave his milkshake to 10. Exactly. And then during the food challenge, I poisoned 1930s food when I swapped places with 1960s. She wanted to be by him so she could cheat. Wait, but you didn't have the birthmark. You were checking people's left arms. My birthmark's on my right arm. When I saw the reflection, it was the mirror. I flip-flopped it. <sighs> I purposely lost rad or bad so I could frame the 2000s. And that's why the money exploded in her pocket. Then how did 1990s die? When my headband fell off, I purposely cut the wire and electrocuted her. And then you'd use the syringe during this game, which is why he died. Zamfam, I can't believe I missed those clues. Did you see them? Well, they're not gonna miss your extreme punishment! <laughs> Zamfam, go back. Did you see any of the clues that I missed? Quit stalling! <laughs> Killer. And if you can't solve this murder with four tries, you get five. Well, this is my first challenge in our brand new Zamfam headquarters. That is not gonna happen. Well, then you better start looking at the footage to get your first clue. Yeah, you're right. She's gonna get slaughtered. I'm not! You are. All right, Rebecca, good luck. I set up some security cameras to help you find clues. Time for me to solve this Salish Matters cat. Rebecca? Okay, so what did you learn other than Dara's clumsy? Okay, well, I also learned that the killer is startled by loud noises and mm. I have the perfect challenge for that. Okay. <laughs> Never. I'm not getting slimed, Salish Matters dad. <laughs> My name's Dr I'm not just Salish's dad. Yeah, you are. I keep saying that. Darmian has been murdered and all of you are suspects. It was Matt. He's jealous of Dar being told and nice try. We're the same exact height. And it can't be me because I know it was green. He didn't get cast in a Darman movie. You think these pecs struggled to get cast? I have to make this challenge almost impossible for her to solve. So I am guaranteeing you that she is going to get slimed. And when she does, it is going to be the most disgusting, repulsive, dirty, gross, sticky slime that you've ever seen. So let's wait around to see it happen. Uh, it was definitely orange. She's just too annoying. I don't need your judgment and you don't even look like you own a designer purse. We're all too nice to be killer. Especially purple. She's too cute. You're wrong. Statistically, it could be me. Okay, you know what? I think it's a Enough! Let's start the first challenge.
challenge. This is the balloon pop challenge. The first person to pop their balloons will move on to the next round. Red and blue, you're up first. Whoever gets startled with these balloons popping could be the killer. Go boys! Who are you even rooting for? Both. Matt's gonna win. Why, do you have a crush on him? No, his legs are longer. On your marks, get set, go! Did he just push him? This is not gonna end well. Next round. See, told ya. Oh, you're accurate, just like when you killed Darmy. Hey, push! I just pushed the kill. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Push, 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 push. Easy. That's why we're doing these challenges, okay? Everyone over there. Purple and black, you're up next. Ready and huh. Okay, stop staring at her. This is a competition. Go! Moving on. What am I losing to a girl if she's cute? That's not very smart. This is a competition. Okay, green and orange, you are up next. Ready and pop. Why are you popping? Oh. Scared of breaking you. Scared of a balloon popping? That is so lame. Oh, oh, yeah. Did I scare you? I, no, no, I, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Dart, man. I get it. That was not punny. I get it. Yellow. On your mark, get set, pop! I'm a little nervous. I don't really want to do this. Guys, it's a challenge! Mm. Ah! Oh, God. Come on! I'm up. Ah! Why don't you just pop a balloon? I don't really feel like it. You have to pop them! Okay, ah! ah! I guess pink is moving on to the next round. I can't believe I did it. Pink was scared of popping the balloons, but yellow wouldn't even pop them. Both of them, Zampium, could be the killer. I can't believe I didn't make it to the next round. I'm a varsity soccer player. I'm glad I didn't make it. Sorry. Hey, I'm glad you made it. Ew. Jordan is only giving me four guesses, but I am confident this next round will help me figure out who the killer is. This is Don't Pop the Balloon, and for this round, things are gonna get messy. Who wants to go first? I'll go. Probability of a balloon being in this hole is likely zero. Oh! Yeah. Lou, you're up next. Well, the probability is super lame. Gosh, any mini miny mo catch a liger by its toe. Got it. These are real. They are. Just go blue. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, I guess you're not that good at math. Oh, it looks like you popped the red balloon. You can either go under the red balloon or choose someone else to do it. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, hmm, who should I pick? You. Purple. Step under the red balloon. I'm gonna get you back for this. No, Lou, you said I get to pop the balloon, so this is my money. She's right. Oh, well, hurry up. We've got a challenge to finish. I can't believe I got $999. It was supposed to be $1,000. Huh? Who's up next? Okay, Green, you're up next. Save the best for a third. You pop the blue balloon, which means you go under it or you choose someone else to. I kind of liked watching stuff fall in purple, so purple. What? Yeah. Come on. It's the game. The probability of this being money again is very slim. <laughs> if she thinks that slime is bad, wait until the end of the video. That was nothing. No! It's green! Are you kidding me? You both are gonna pay for this. Pink, you're up. Oh my god, this is so scary. It's not that scary. <laughs> Purple, looks like we're starting another round. Remember, we go until all the balloons are popped. I really don't want to take any more chances. Blue, you're up. Okay, money, 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 and stop! Green, you're going on that side or this side? This side, at least we know there's no more slime. Or is there? Oh! You popped a pink balloon. Do you want to go under it or do you want to choose someone else? I'm going to go myself this time. What? This is for the ladies! Oh! <laughs> Looks like you got glitter. It's not that bad. Oh, I think I got some in my eye. Okay, well, go, go oh. take care of that and we're going to keep going. Uh, again? There's only one green balloon left. Who is going to pop? 
pop it. Be nervous. Oh! That was aggressive. Purple? You're up. Green is not my favorite color, so hopefully. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Looks like your stats were right. You're good. Oh, we got this one right here. Please be with me. Oh. oh. Perfect timing. You got that glitter out of your rock. It's your turn. Got the glitter, but kept the sparkle. It's debatable. Oh, oh. Oh man, someone is getting that green balloon and it's gonna be messy. Pink, it's your turn. Oh, you gonna pop it? Oh no. Oh, no! Oh, it's gonna get so messy. Pink, you have to go under that green balloon or choose someone else to. Yeah. Yeah. Time. I feel like blue needs to go under. Okay, well. You're gonna live to regret this. Go be good. Three, two. I don't think blue's okay. Uh, I have no spray. I have no spray. We need to get him water. Hey, Matt, are you okay? Yeah, I need some help. Oh. Take the water. I need some help. I need some help. Stop coughing. Three. Oh, my God. Matt, are you okay? Stop. 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 He's dead. She did it. She gave him a throat spray. No, it was him. He gave him a cough drop even though he pushed him. No, it was her. She gave him the water. I was trying to help. Enough. I am ready to make my first and final accusation. The person who killed Darman and now Blue is you, Pink. <gasps> you flinched every time a balloon popped. Just like the killer. And the water you gave him, it was slightly blue. She poisoned him. No, I didn't. I didn't kill him. This powder was not supposed to be green. It was supposed to be yellow. You know what happens when you mix yellow with blue? Green. It was you. Show me your backpack. I didn't do it. Jordan Matter is about to lose. Pink, you didn't do it. What? I told you. Okay. You know what, everyone? Head upstairs to the locker room. You can leave. Don't step on the dead body. Okay, Zamfam, I thought she definitely was the killer. I'm gonna have to go back to Jordan and look at some more footage. Oh, poor Matt. You gotta feel bad for him. I feel so bad. And also, you only have three guests now. Okay, thanks a lot, Salish's dad. Right now, I need to stay focused and look at the next video evidence. Okay, I just, my name's Jordan, but I just say it. No one cares. The killer's right there. Wait, a noise just went off on his phone. It looks like he really likes YouTube. Those are all YouTube notifications, okay? Who likes YouTube? I would have gone mad, but he's dead. You would have been wrong twice. So who else loves YouTube? Someone that I'm gonna find out right now for the next challenge. This is my first clue game. Okay. Taylor's a dad. Jordan! It's on the channel! This is YouTube trivia. You will be put into pairs, and whichever team can answer the most questions correct wins. Now, everyone, grab a headband. Oh, uh, I see what she's doing. Okay. I don't want to touch it. They're not used. All right, guys, I don't have all day. Just come on. Headbands on. Uh, one second. Oh, no, Sam Fam, I left something in this bag. Hopefully, no one saw it. Uh, you know what? It'll be fine. Are you in it to win it? I guess. I'm borderline genius, so just let me take this one. I'm gonna be the one who's talking. Oh, look. Uh, it looks like we're partners. I don't think so. Uh, hey, dude, do you mind swapping? I know I am with a nerd. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yo. Okay, now that you guys have your team, green team is up first. These are the YouTube questions, and you need to pair them up with the correct YouTuber whose faces are in those lockers. Good luck. Time starts now. All right, all right. First question. What YouTuber only ate Disneyland food for 24 hours? I know this one. I know this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe we should have done that. All right, next question. What YouTuber filled their entire house with packing tubes? That was Ben Aslar. No, 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 it had to be Jordan Matter. Come on, come on. It's Ben Aslar. What YouTuber survived the world's shrinkest parents? Sailor's Matter. Sailor's. What YouTuber transformed into the president? Sam Fam, do you think they know who it is? Comment below if you know the answer to this. I'm the honest Where is she? There she is. There she is. Okay, what YouTuber founded the makeup company Live Glam? Dorman! Dorman! Which YouTuber is the world's worst babysitter? Lexi Rivera, she would be a great bad babysitter. I've seen Brent babysit and he is way worse than that. 
What YouTuber built an entire house out of Lego? Mr. Beam! Uh, it's actually not Mr. Beam, it's Matthew Beam. Matthew Beam? You're Matthew Beam! What YouTuber is a Canadian contortionist? The goal getter! Anna McNulty. This one is Anna McNulty. I uh, can't. If you're wrong, I'm gonna be yeah. really upset. Uh, Anna McNulty. Oh, okay. What YouTuber tricked the world into thinking he could fly like Harry Potter? Zach, Zach King. King! Zach King! Yeah, 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 good, good, good! And. But no one got all of the answers right. It all came down to the last and final team. And they got seven answers right. Which means pink team is the winner with eight out of nine. Woo! And now I am ready to make my next accusation. Well, I hope it's on Miss Purple here. She's the only one smart enough to commit a murder. A smart person would know not to commit a murder. Hey, I'm smart too. Orange was the one who brought me down. That's something a murderer would say? It's not your accusation. It's mine, and after looking at the evidence, the person that murdered Darman is you, Black. The killer had YouTube trivia knowledge, and I was surprised at how much you had. You switch headbands with green so that you could be on the pink team and be with the smartest player to hide how much YouTube knowledge you knew. It wasn't me. Oh, really? During the balloon pop challenge, you waited to pop the balloons. Is it because it scared you? No, something just caught my eye. Tina, show me your backpack. All right, Jordan Matter, I hope you're ready because I'm gonna win this and you're gonna be the one getting slimed. And you got black. Oh, she missed it again. I told you it wasn't me. But she needs it's one of you guys. Okay, you know what? There are five of you left. Everyone, head to the diner. Can I get her number? Wait, no, she's her not into you. Hey, Zam fam, this doesn't make sense. I thought that black was the killer, but if he wasn't, that means I only have two guesses left. I need to go to surveillance, look at the other footage, and hopefully Jordan doesn't make fun of me. He's getting slimed. Slime and Rebecca. I'm not oh, getting you're getting slimed. slimed. You're gonna get you missed. You know what? Like, calm missed. down, Salish's dad. Let's just look at the next footage. I had a channel way before Salish. That's all I'm saying. I'm watching the footage. Oh. Okay, it looks like Darth walking into the white room. Space is so cool. There's the killer, he's in all white. How does Dar not see him? Rebecca, where is everyone? Guys. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Dar died! Mm -hmm. But. Do you see something? What happened? When the killer walked in, uh -huh. he like hit his right shoulder, so he's probably scratched right there. Might be. Okay, so. Might be. So then all I do is uh -huh. a challenge to get them to show the shoulder. There we go. And then I get it. No, because you're gonna miss it and get slaughtered. See you soon, uh -huh. One of them is banned in countries outside of the U.S. What do the banned foods have to do with seeing someone's shoulders? And if you guess wrong, you have to remove a layer of clothing. Oh, oh that's kind of smart. You're still gonna get slapped. They just want to see my abs. What abs? Here are the first two foods. Pop-tarts and toaster strudels. Grab the food you think is banned and eat it. Pop-tart. Pop-tarts. Toaster strudel. No, pop-tart, obviously. Pop-tart. And the food that is banned are the pop-tarts. Not eating that, man. Oh. Which means, Red, you need to remove a layer of clothing. That was so easy. Pop tarts have so much sugar, duh. Pop tarts are actually banned because of their food diet. Smarty pants, guess you didn't know that one. I just love toaster strudels. Okay, we'll remove a layer of clothing. Next up, we have Ritz crackers and Oreos. Ritz, obviously. Oreo! Now eat the food. Party was eating that. If you chose Oreo, then you are. Wrong! It was actually Ritz that were banned. All four of you need to remove a layer of clothes. Ritz crackers were actually banned because of their soybean and cotton seed oil. Looking great, and now head on over to the next booth. Next up is Warheads and white bread. Bread. Uh, I'm gonna go Warhead. I just bread. <laughs> you haven't even eaten it yet. Yeah, it's open. Yep, Warheads are pretty bad, but are they banned? They should be. If you chose Warheads, you are wrong because the white bread is banned because of the ingredient potassium bromate. Sounds like a name I call my ex-boyfriend. Remove a layer of clothing. Keep an eye out for their right shoulder. Oh, oh! oh. These are also green. Let's move on. Skittles or M and M's? I think Skittles. Skittles. Yeah, Skittles. Okay. One person chose M and M's. If you guys chose Skittles, you are right. <laughs> Can't eat anything around here. Red, you 
You good? My throat just so oh. scratchy. Okay, well good because the next one are some drink items. <laughs> Mountain Dew versus Gatorade. <coughs> this should be good. Sam Fam, comment below which one you think is banned in other countries. If you drank the Gatorade, you are wrong. It was the Mountain Dew that was banned. So, remove a layer of clothing. Oh, ah! That wasn't supposed to happen. She's been coughing ever since she ate that Ritz Cracker. The Ritz Cracker you almost have. I didn't know they're poison. No, red poison or drink, you were sitting right next to her. No, you were the one who poisoned the Ritz, I know no, that you I did not do that. I hate the Oreo. Rebecca, make your accusation. You know what? I'm not gonna make an accusation until you guys spill some tea. Grab your backpacks and head to the hospital. <gasps> Try not to step on the dead body. Can we put our clothes back on? Okay, Zamfam, before I make another accusation, I need to find out what their secrets are. She's not coming back for another clue? I wonder what her plan is. This is our hospital, and we will be using a heart rate monitor to see who here is telling the truth and who is a liar. Or should I say killer? Okay, Yellow, I'm gonna need you to hold this and put both thumbs on either side. Let's start with, did you kill Darman? <laughs> no. Did you? No, of course I did not. Where were you the night that Darman was murdered? I was shopping. And what color envelope did Jordan Matter give you? Yellow. Duh. Are you sure about that? Are you? I'm not sure, that's why I'm asking you these questions. Okay, well look at the clothes I'm wearing. Okay, whoa, your heart rate's going a little crazy right now. Are you getting upset? I'm getting annoyed. Yellow, if you didn't kill Darman, who do you think did? Well, I definitely didn't kill him, and I know it was orange. And why do you know it was orange? Well, in the beginning I thought it was her because she's extremely annoying, but throughout the day she's been very suspicious. And how has she been suspicious? Poisoning the Ritz cracker and killing people left and right. She's a psychopath. Why would she have killed Matt? Because she's annoying. Like. I said. Okay, that's that's not a reason to kill someone. Do you want me or Jordan Matter to win this game? Uh, it doesn't bother me either way, I guess. Your heart rate just went up, so you obviously feel someone. Oh, fine. I'm rooting for you. Oh, I can't believe you just made me admit that. Okay, your heart rate's going up. It sounds like you're lying. Do you want me to get slimed or not? Okay, yes! I want you to get slimed! Okay, you know what? Yellow, I want you to watch this right here. Is that Darman? Yes. Oh, I've seen better true crime. All right, you can go. Send in the next one. Okay, Zamfam, I don't trust her, but her heart rate did not go up when she saw the murder of Darman, so do you think she's the killer? Okay, Green, just hold that with your thumbs on it. How was it doing the removal layer of clothing challenge? You know, it was kind of nice because this sweatsuit is getting hot. Okay, well, you're green. I can't help that. Speaking of green, did Jordan Matter give you a green envelope? I mean, I guess, in a roundabout way. Whoa, why is your heart rate going up? You either got a green one or you got the killer. What, what did you get? I picked a green envelope. That's what Happened. Would you ever kill Darman? No, I would never. Were you upset that you haven't been in one of his movies? Uh, no, because I'm Xanthan for life. Okay. If you didn't kill Darman, who do you think did? It definitely had to be Red. He was next to everybody before they died. Why do you think he would have killed Matt? I don't know. He was yelling at him at the beginning of the video. Super sus. You are right. If it wasn't Red, then who else do you think it might be? Well, then I guess Yellow. I mean, she's had a terrible attitude all day. You're telling me. One more thing. I want you to look at this. Why are you showing this to me? Heart rate. Heart rate, I'm okay. Never mind. Thank you very much, Green. You can send the next person in. Best of luck. Okay, his heart rate did go up when he saw the footage of Darman, but he also made a good point about Red. Do you think Red did it? Get ready for Red. Red, did you kill Darman? No. Who do you think did? Orange. And why is that? Because every time we've done a challenge, she's undermined me. That doesn't mean she would kill Darman. I think she did. And uh, is that a real accent? Yes. Do you have an American accent? Yes. Oh, one up a little on that. Do you like cats? Yes. I just thought I'd ask that. If you didn't kill Darman, who do you think did? Orange. Why? I don't like her. Oh, besides that. She hasn't been trying all day. That seems like she's hiding something. My heart rate is staying the same on that. I might actually trust you a little bit. Why did you start a fight with Blue earlier? Because I'm competitive and I wanted to win. But you lost. I know. Oh, heart rate just went up. A little sensitive subject, I see. Yeah, well, I wish you were still alive so you know I could rematch him and beat him. Went up again. Take a look at this. What is that? Is this the first time you're seeing this? Yes. You can go. Thank you. Red seems even more sus, and every time he got angry, his heart rate went up. Do you think he was angry enough to kill Dar? Orange, what color envelope did you receive from Jordan Matter? Orange. 
That was a test. What did your orange card say? Orange. That was also another test. Why have you not been trying in the challenges? I'm trying my very best. You did not really try at all. Well, maybe I'm just not good. Or maybe you're the killer and you're trying to hide something. If you're not the killer, then who do you think killed Dar? Yellow. Do you want me to win this game or do you want Jordan Matter to win it? You. Your heart rate just went up. Are you lying? I mean, I like him as a YouTuber, but I also really like you. Okay, do you want me to get slimed or not? Yes. Oh, oh, oh two of them want to see her slime? Well, so do I. She's about to get slimed. Watch this. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Oh, looks like someone's heart rate went up a little bit. Well, yeah. Does it bring back any memories? A little. What memories? Well, one time my boyfriend got me an orchid and then I smothered the orchid and then it died and my relationship died. And so technically I, I guess it killed something like that video. Okay, thank you. You can leave. What? Everyone here spilled some tea, but there is only one here that I think is the killer. Thanks to that heart rate monitor. All of you guys saw the footage of Darmian being killed and some of your heart rates went up, but one person's skyrocketed. Maybe because they knew that they were caught. I am making another accusation and I am accusing you, Orange. About me. Time. Yes, your heart rate went up when I showed you the killing and I think it's because you weren't expecting me to have that footage. Show me your backpack because I'm about to win this game. Oh, your envelope is orange, but what's inside is what is the truth, and that is that you are orange. What? You. Then why did your heart rate go up so high when you watched the footage? Just having memories of the orchid. You can head out. There's only three of you left, and only one is the killer. I only have one accusation left, or I am getting slimed, and that is not going to happen. So you guys, have to clap. One more guess till you get slimed. Okay, no. I still have one more guess, Jordan. It's Salish's death. Oh, wait, no, it's Jordan. Wait. <laughs> This is after the killer killed Darman. He's running out, he's putting the weapon in his backpack. That means the killer has the weapon in the backpack and they all have backpacks. I was getting a little nervous, but this hair is not getting slimed. It's not gonna be that easy. You're wrong. <laughs> she thinks it's obvious, but she's about to get slimed. I can hear you. I need to figure out which of you three killed Darman. So I brought in the world's strictest teacher. Good morning, class. Yo, stop. stop. I like it. Stop. I can smell a liar with my eyes closed, and both of them are open. Get to my desk. Let's go. Move. I'm so glad I brought you in here. I don't like teacher's pets. This is Grab the Apple. Whoever is the overall loser has to empty their backpack. I need each of them to lose the challenge so I can see inside all of their backpacks. Good luck. You'll both need it. Hey. Shoulders, head, shoulders, head, shoulders, head, shoulders, apple. Whoa, slow. All right, next we have red versus green. Head, shoulders, knees, shoulders, head, knees, shoulders, knees, shoulders, knees, shoulders, knees, head, apple. Go. Killer! The apple didn't fall far from the tree. This is so exciting. I'm gonna make some slime. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Head, toe, knee, apple. Yellow lost two games, and you are the overall loser. So hand over your backpack. I know, I know. See if there might be any killer clues. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. a Reese's caramel cup? That's mine. I've never tried that. Makeup, or is it makeup? We're about to find out. It's makeup. Yeah, you can borrow it if you would have asked nicely. Sorry, I only use Zamfam lip gloss that you can get at effectismoment.com. Is that up? Uh, yeah. Great, go to the next challenge. Let's go! This Zamfam headquarters is beautiful. I don't want to get dirty. I just want to get her dirty, so... I'm gonna talk. This is the perfect... Rebecca, I can handle this. It is the perfect circle challenge. You're drawing a circle. It's as simple as that. Let's begin. Who goes first? You go first. You guys know I'm gonna have the shapes. What is that? Yeah. What? Okay, well, uh, that's pretty obvious. That green just lost, so give me your backpack. Can I just do like 10 push ups instead? Give me your backpack. Let's see what is inside of this. Nothing. Oh, but wait. I need to just see if there's something in there and it's. 
Wait, there's not what I thought it would be. Uh, look, we need to do another challenge. Another challenge? Yeah. Well, if we're doing another challenge, you're competing. Okay. I've mixed up the slime, but I've got one more really nasty ingredient to add. Zampium, I've seen inside two backpacks, but I have not seen inside the third. I know the killer has a weapon in their backpack, and I need to see what's inside that last one. This is our next and final challenge. This challenge is don't make a sound. For this challenge, I will be inflicting pain upon you. If you make a noise, you lose. Put your harmonicas in your mouths. Well, wait, are you going me first? I have to win this if I want to see what's inside his backpack. Hope you're ready for me to beat your game. Oh. This is enough to kill Dorman. You're the killer. No, I'm not. So how did it get in there? I don't know. Why do you also have a book about murder? I like murder mysteries. That's not a crime. So much that you made your own? Okay, okay, that's it. Nope, I did not sign up to get killed. <laughs> I'm out of here. I only have one accusation left, and I am ready to make it. Head downstairs. Don't kill anyone! Here's the secret ingredient. Oh, oh God's gonna take her a week to wash that smell out of her hair. You don't wanna be here right now. If I wanna win this, I need to make the right accusation. Red was shoving blue during the first challenge right before he died, and then he was next to purple when she died. Green's heart rate did go up when I showed him the Darman footage, and I never got to see his right shoulder in the banned food challenge. And finally, Yellow, she refused to do the balloon pop challenge and has been accusing everyone all day. Could she be deflecting from the fact she's the killer? All three of you are suspect, but only one of you is the killer, and I'm ready to make my last accusation. The person I think killed Darman is you, Green. What? Why would you think it's me? The knife was in his bag. All the signs point to red. You must have put it in the bag. What are you talking about? Well, I didn't do it. It was definitely you, Green. In the first challenge, you poisoned the balloon, then sent a threatening text to Pink so she would pick blue to go under the balloon. Then you poisoned her water just to make sure she could not say anything, which is why I found a little bit of blue inside of the water. And here's your fatal flaw. I wasn't afraid of the balloons. But that's because you were wearing earplugs. During YouTube trivia, you cheated and saw my answer key in the duffel bag, but you didn't even need it because you are a huge YouTube fan. In the diner, you poisoned the Ritz cracker that killed Purple. I know that because I saw green on your thumbs during the heart rate monitor test. It's not too late to change your answer. You got this all wrong. You wanted to frame Red by putting the weapon in his backpack while I was interrogating him in the hospital. And finally, in the footage I saw, the killer was out of breath and then he wasn't, which means he needed an inhaler. An inhaler that I saw fall out of your bag. You're making a huge mistake. No, I'm not. All right, come on, are you ready? Wait, 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 stay right here, right here, right this side. Do you need a towel or anything? Are you ready? I have the envelope. Are you I, sure? I ready? don't know. Is this your final decision? Yes. This is your last decision? Yes, yes, yes. Are you yes. sure? Green is the killer. Okay, let's see. Ah, I'm gonna yes. slime her, I can't no. wait. Here we go, the final decision is, she got it right. Yes! Oh yeah, this hair is staying clean today. I told you. No. You I know what, actually, no. I need to no. do this. No, I'm telling you. Go back.